John Barnett, known for exposing safety issues in Boeing's 787 Dreamliner production, was reported by Sky News to have been found dead in South Carolina on March 12, 2024. His efforts led to significant changes within Boeing, marking a substantial loss with his passing. Barnett's dedication to safety and transparency in aerospace has left an indelible legacy, highlighting the essential role of accountability in the industry. In a riveting saga that has gripped the aerospace world, Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, a jewel in the crown of the aerospace behemoth, finds itself under a cloud of scrutiny. At the heart of this storm are startling revelations brought to light by John Barnett, a seasoned quality manager at Boeing, alongside an eye-opening investigation by Al Jazeera's investigative unit titled Broken Dreams, the Boeing 787. John Barnett's journey with Boeing spanned over 30 years, a testament to his dedication and expertise. However, it was his transfer to the Boeing plant in Charleston, South Carolina, that unveiled a disturbing reality. Barnett stumbled upon a culture that seemed to sacrifice precision on the altar of speed, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the industry. He unearthed a series of safety lapses, including the use of faulty parts and an unsettling pressure on employees to ignore defects. Among his most harrowing discoveries was that about a quarter of the emergency oxygen systems were compromised, potentially endangering lives in critical moments. Equally troubling were the titanium slivers lurking beneath the floorboards, tiny but capable of igniting fires by causing electrical shorts in the aircraft's delicate systems. But Barnett's revelations were not solitary cries in the wilderness. The documentary Broken Dreams, the Boeing 787, released by Al Jazeera in 2015, peeled back layers of the Dreamliner's production, revealing a tapestry of overlooked safety and quality issues. From battery malfunctions that grounded the entire 787 fleet in January 2013 to first-hand accounts from Boeing workers, the documentary painted a stark picture of the challenges plaguing one of aviation's most celebrated aircraft. This investigative tour de force was lauded for its journalistic integrity, bagging the prestigious AIB International Current Affairs Documentary Award. Together, Barnett's whistleblower courage and the documentary's incisive analysis cast a spotlight on the critical importance of safety and quality in the skies. They underscore the invaluable role of those who dare to expose the truth, ensuring that the aviation industry remains under a watchful eye. The repercussions of these revelations have echoed far beyond Boeing, stirring a broader debate on the aviation industry's balancing act between efficiency and uncompromising safety. They have sparked a reevaluation of regulatory oversight with the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, at the center of discussions on how to bolster the safeguards that keep passengers safe. For Boeing, the fallout has been profound, shaking the trust of airlines, passengers, and regulators worldwide. This crisis has propelled Boeing into a period of introspection and transformation, striving to fortify its commitment to the bedrock principles of safety and quality. As the aviation industry continues to navigate the turbulence of innovation and growth, the saga of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner serves as a powerful reminder of the paramount importance of safety and quality. In the relentless quest for progress, these principles remain the guiding stars, ensuring that the miracle of flight remains a beacon of trust and reliability. This story, woven from the threads of courage, investigation, and accountability, is a compelling narrative of the ongoing journey to ensure that the skies remain safe for the countless souls who traverse the heavens. It celebrates the spirit of individuals like John Barnett and the guardians of truth in journalism, whose resolve illuminates the path towards a safer future for air travel. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like.